What is the boohaha about aid in the Middle East? Here is the breakdown. In nine countries in the Middle East, the World Bank is funding and running a welfare tool known as the PMT. Proxy means testing. It is a software that considers factors such as family size, address, and ownership of livestock or cars, where the full details of the metrics have not been disclosed in the countries where it is being used, making it a black box. These tools, the World Bank says, makes aid efficient and the activists differ and say it excludes people wrongly. Here is what one of them told Context, a media organization. These algorithms only capture a static picture of what people are going through at a single point in time. But this is not how people actually suffer hardship. This was Amos Stowe, a senior researcher on artificial intelligence and human rights at Human Rights Watch. Research published by the group in June found that many people in Jordan were not receiving financial support under the country's takafful, meaning solidarity, program because their hardships fall outside an algorithm's faulty model of poverty. Of course, the World Bank is not interested in excluding people. So what is the problem? The problem is outdated data. You do not use a Ford Model T engine to power a Remac Navera, do you? But these sophisticated algorithms have to often rely on out-of-date data, leading to apparently arbitrary decisions. This is what Chad Anderson, an international consultant who works on social protection programs, had to say. Researchers have found PMT-based aid programs in Lebanon and Yemen using census data that is more than a decade old. And fluctuating levels of household income and consumption can also skew poverty assessments. This is what experts have said. Around the world, 40 countries use PMT systems, also including Morocco, Algeria, Saudi Arabia, and Tunisia in the Middle East and North Africa region. This is what the World Bank reported in 2020. A better and more cost-effective approach to algorithmic targeting would be for governments to move towards universal social protection systems. Till such time we have that, we are going to have problems with the aid reaching some, but not many. Thank you for watching.